I directed the film, uh, co-wrote it with my good friend, producing partner, Carlos de los Rios, very talented writer, but I can't take credit for the project. I mean, the crew's amazing, and I was just there and did the job. How did you get Lauren Bacall, etc.? Well, you know, I, I, really, I really leave it up to the story. I think the story really intrigued people. It was the first international art forgery movie in many, many years since F for Fake by Orson Welles, and also, too, the town of Carmel is very beautiful. It's uh, one of those places that everybody knows, and I think a lot of these actors just wanted to come and hang out and make a movie in the town. You know? I guess once you had her, it probably was easier to get some other people, too. Well, you know, it's always great to have a star on board. I would have to say that our first talent that we cast on the movie was Dina Eastwood. She's my boss for seven years, We've been working for her for many years, and also to a very talented person. So she was actually the first person I, I cast on the movie. So I give her credit for bringing in all the other talent. Now, um, is this based on any, you know, that you hear about some of the art heists or things going in the news every once in a while. Was this at all based anything roughly on a true no, story? Or? Actually, you know, the, the movie was made before the art heist happened, but but, you know, it's very fascinating. Maybe there's some tie-ins. Who knows? Maybe something will come out in the future. But, you know, for the most part, it, it the movie was conceptualized before the Pebble Beach art heist happened. And uh, it was something that we felt was a story that needed to be told. Thomas Hoving from the Metropolitan Museum of New York is a former director, so that 40% of all the paintings hanging in museums today are forgeries. So why not do a forgery movie and let this little secret out to the public? Now, you, this is your first film, your first time director? Uh, it's my first feature film. I've directed music videos, uh, lots of documentaries, uh, worked for Dina Eastwood for seven years, so I've been um, doing this for a while. My first uh, directorial uh, thing that I did was a snowboard movie when I was 19. Sold it to the Japanese. So what is it like though, again, going back to Lauren McCall, but your first feature film and directing a Hollywood legend, what was that like? And working with her, I mean... It was incredible. I mean, she's such a powerful woman and she, she's so... She has this magnetism, animal magnetism to her. You know, when, when the cameras are on and she's doing her scene, everybody would just watch, totally wrapped with attention. She's really amazing. Do you have to kind of stand back and let her do her thing, or do you? Is there some back and forth, or how does that work? You know, Miss McCall's a consummate professional, so there's always a little playback between the director and the actor. But for the most part, you know, you get a good professional on the set; they know the lines, and it's my job to let them do what they know how to do. Well, thank you, sir. Look forward to seeing this, and much success with it. My pleasure.